Hi, Supersurus here, back with another Factorio Plus Plus video, episode 2, and it's just been a little bit since uh, last episode, and I can now craft a radar, and this is going to be um, pretty important for seeing, like, you can see in the minimap, there is some pollution, which is this red cloud, this will become important later, um, not right now, but since... Not exactly at this point, but it's going to be very important later. So, this radar will be essentially scanning, like, areas out, out there. Like, farther than where we can just see in this little tiny part of Quebec. So, the other thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to automate the mining and smelting of iron ore. This is going to become a big thing like later on, this whole automation, because, I mean, that that's what Factoria is all about. I think first I do need to get Stratch Knight, whatever that is. I don't, I don't think it's useful at this point, but I, I think it will, it will be... Yeah, you need to split this in... Yeah, I, I, I really have no idea what this does, but right now it's blocking my way, so I'm just going to... I'm going to get rid of it. I'm gonna get rid of it. So now I have three electric mining drills. I'll be using this on the iron. And I'm not exactly sure where it could should be doing it. I'm gonna do it like this. Like one. Um, this is not a very dense. Um, yeah, this is not very dense ore patch. So I'm just gonna do it like this. You can do it denser, but. Right now, it's just, it's so, it's not, it's not dense at all, which means I can just do it like this. Like, later on, you're going to see much denser ore patches, but at this point, I can just do it like this. So, I should probably be bringing electric pole, or just, yeah, electric poles down here, so I, it can power these mining drills. And this will... Be giving automatically be giving me iron ore the next thing is smelting it and this is where things get a little bit crazy like this is like this is where I may I, like it may be the first little challenge like I, I I know sort of like the best ways to do a lot of the things here but I, I think what I can do I can I can build a belt like this and um, just actually I can just extend it all the way out here and maybe wait I can't even craft splitters yet okay maybe I should not be doing this yet or, or maybe I can do it but it'll be done in a sloppy way that it'll eventually be improved so essentially what I'm gonna do is this, this may seem weird what I'm doing but I'm gonna. I'm trying. You see how the belts have? There's two sides to them. I'm trying to get iron on one side and coal on the other. That's that's what I'm trying to do. And this is. Remember how I said I was complaining about splitters? Also, that there's no mineable resources here. So. Yeah. Remember I was like I was complaining about splitters. Um. Even though you probably don't even know what splitters are at all. Um, oh, you, you'll, you'll see how useful they get later on. At this point, I'm going to, I'm going to use inserters. So, inserters do require electricity, so I'll just do it like this. And this will be belted over here. Which will eventually connect like this. I need more belts, though. You're going to see, I'm going to need more of everything in Factorio. That's, that's like the name of the game. It's about, it's the factory must grow. So, yeah, I'm just doing it like this, and down here, and this will allow me to get copper, or not copper, coal and iron on the same belt. The reason why this is so important is that this will allow me to automate smelting. So, I will need more inserters. I'm out of iron. I'm, it looks like I'm going to be out of iron before. Like, I'm just going to be out of iron until I automate this. Because once I automate this, this is just going to be so much 
better. I may also need to up coal production at this point as well. Somehow this is out of fuel. It's probably, yeah, is it because there's no mineable resources here? Um, yeah, that's why. Well, maybe I can just get rid of this or something. I, I have no, maybe, I'll, maybe I can do this, which is weird, but it works. So, yeah, this will allow me to get some more coal. If I ever run out of it, that'll be a good backup supply. The big thing is this. I'm going to be automating. I'm going to do this. This will allow me to... Actually, I can even do it like this. Um, so automate smelting of iron. Not only that, I can, I can... Perhaps I can try to put it in a chest. But maybe this will be a little later. Because I don't want to... I don't want to try to get even more inserters. Um, because that would require more inserters. Right now, I'm sort of, I sort of have an iron shortage. I think the next thing I should try to do is build one more steam engine because if you look at the power, I can make 960 kilowatts. I'm only making, I'm making about half that, but the power usage is going to ramp up later on. And you can actually, you can even see a graph of it, of just like the total amount. So like at one time I was using, um, Almost 700 kilowatts. So I don't want to run out of power. It's not that big of a deal if I run out of power, but I still just want to be prepared. And of course, I also want to get some more coal because, yeah, I'm, good. I'm definitely going to need more coal. So you, you can do steam engines like this, or there's like two of them. Um, you can only do up to two like this, though. So, yeah. That, I just need more electric mining drills at this point. And luckily the iron is smelting. So I can make I'm gonna make two because I'm I'm gonna need a lot of coal. I can only make a few belts, which may be a problem. But yeah, here is some more more it's not gonna give me many resources, but at least something. I can barely see where any of the coal is. I guess I can just do this. And like maybe this, it's not this is not the most efficient, but whatever. I'm I'm gonna do it that way because I can. And this is out of fuel now. Like this is why I'm trying to automate everything. I don't want to like run out of stuff like that. So now I can make a few more belts, allowing me to. I should probably also put some stuff in in the hot bar, so I don't have to open the inventory every time. Because that. Because, yeah, it's going to become, become more important later on. I'm also going to probably want to do this with, um, like, electric poles. So now I have three electric mining drills all mining coal. Because the thing is, this inserter is taking everything at this point. So now we, we have automated smelting. We can also do this for copper. But maybe we should try to focus on something more important or something a little bit more crazy. Not, I'm, it's debatable whether which one's more important, but I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make, I'm going to craft my first lab. This will be very important later on. I'm also going to make, um, 10 automation science packs and okay. The lab's almost finished crafting. I'll place it down here, just as a temporary place. And you can see this is, you can place science packs like this into it. And these science packs will allow you to research stuff. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff to research. This is, even the vanilla game is overwhelming amount of stuff that you can research, but it's just even more when you have mods and they're like I, it looks like i'm noticing it looks like 25 percent of the stuff is completely new for factorio plus plus so yeah there's many choices to make um a lot of people like doing this one first and yeah i i can see why it's it allows for more automation and this this is going to become very important as 
crafting stuff by hand is going to take a while. So, essentially what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be crafting science packs so I can um, get this research complete. This will allow me to unlock assembling machine one and long-handed inserter. I like to call it lanky inserter for some reason. And long-handed inserter isn't really that important right now, but the I think the the this the assembling machine is going to be extremely important. So yeah, there's also a bunch of other stuff. There's optics, which isn't really that useful at this point. It will um, it does unlock a couple of of good stuff such as solar panels, which is another way to make electricity, and it will unlock some radar amplification stuff that is used in the Big Brother mod, which. Yeah, that big brother is all is focused about. It's just all focused on radars. So you can see this radar. It's, it's I can see more stuff, but it's not a lot much. And it looks like there's cup rum ferret, whatever that is. Maybe that's what's in here. Uh, yeah, it is cup rum ferret. It's in the middle of the iron patch somehow. So there's that. There's also turrets which will be used for defense. And that's not important now, but it will be important soon. Again, this is another defensive thing. Walls, um, military, another defensive thing. Stone chest, this is a Factorio++ plus plus thing. Um, it's It looks just like a wooden chest. It probably has more health, though. This one is probably the next one I'm gonna do, which will unlock splitters and underground belts. There's also copper chest, which is just iron, which is just the same as the iron chest, which the iron chest is just something. It's just like the chests here. You can see I use one wooden chest down here. It's made to, to store stuff. And iron chest just has more capacity than, than wooden chest. That's literally it. Looks like a amount of mineable resources here. So... Yeah, but this is plenty of stone. That that's more than, than I'm gonna need for a while. So I'm not I'm not gonna worry about that. There's also steel processing, which is not very important at this point, but it will be important later. Um, then green science, which is gonna be extremely important later on, but again, not now. And this is Factorio plus plus stuff. And I need 150 science packs, which I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not going to play with the modded stuff for a few more episodes. Like at this point, I'm just going to try to go essentially by what vanilla is about. So, I will want a few more stone furnaces to really um, amp up smelting. So maybe I can make four instead of just two. I will need more inserters. And here is the first research complete. Next thing I'm definitely doing logistics. But now with the new stuff, I can I now have assembling machines that I can make. Assembling machines allow automated crafting, which is huge. Because what what I'm gonna do here, this is again, this is a very temporary setup. That's not gonna really last for long, but I'm gonna this is what I'm gonna be doing for now. I can essentially how I make automation science packs is it's one copper plate and one iron gear wheel and you use iron to make iron gear wheels so that's what I'm going to be doing I will need a few chests I will get some wood um, maybe I should be using iron chests but I think at this point wood is still cheaper than iron because it takes eight iron to make an iron chest and yes they have more capacity but I don't need th that additional capacity like just making this eight wooden chests is definitely enough like the wooden chests at this point have more than enough capacity so I need to make one more inserter I probably should start making more inserters than what I already have here and now with one more electric pole I will be able to automate iron gear wheels. I put iron into this, or iron plates. And this will be crafting iron gear wheels, which 
Oh yeah, uh, I shouldn't be putting it in my lab here. I should be putting another assembling machine in here. Um, I'm an idiot. Also, I don't need this anymore. I have a bunch of stuff. I just need to, oops, yeah, yeah, that's what I should be doing. Just crafting a few more assembling machines, just so I can, I can craft, auto-craft red science, which will be fed into the lab. So, that, that's what I'm going to be doing um, to research stuff. I'm also going to want copper plates here, and this is now essentially automated. Um, the whole research process. I mean, I still need to put stuff in here, but it's still... It, it's a lot better than what I had before. So I, probably what I should be doing now is automating the mining of copper. Right? and Mining and smelting of copper. Like, with electricity. Because you can see this isn't really cutting it. I'm gonna... Um, now with the whole science requirement thing, I'm gonna need a lot more copper than I needed before, and having it like this is just not the way to go anymore. And of course that means I'm gonna need more iron. Maybe I should get a few more inserters going here. This will allow me to just do a lot more. Just now, now with four smelters here, oops, I don't know, I, I pressed the Q key, I'm not sure what that exactly does, but I think I just want more electric mining drills at this point. Yeah, that's essentially how the early game in Factorio. I'm, I'm at now out of the very early game, but I, this is still definitely early game because I'm in Red Science, which is like the first of s seven tiers of science. So, yeah, I have a long way to go. This is going to be a long series. I mean, it's not just going to be all about launching a rocket. I also want to explore the entire Earth. I probably should have said that first episode, but it's too late now. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to place down a few um, electric mining drills. I want to probably craft a few belts. And I'm not exactly sure where it should be smelted. I'm probably just thinking it'll be smelted near the iron. But there's... I mean, eventually, what I'm going to want to do, I'm going to want to place something like this. And this may seem weird at first, but, but later on, I, I'm just preparing for the future because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very interesting later on. I'm also going to want to do this and place some more stone furnaces. Like, this is why I'm going to need stone. This is why my 210 stone... It's, I mean, it's definitely going to be enough for now, but eventually this is going to be, I'm also trying to, uh, like, you may not know what I'm doing now, but it's going to, it's going to be useful for the future. I'm also going to use, um, long-handed inserters for me for the first time here, which, I mean, this is not the best build ever, but... You'll, you'll see what it's eventually all about. It's This may just seem really awkward, but trust me, it will it will be useful. I'm just, I'm just, I'm doing this so I can know where to place the copper. And it's a, because I have no idea, no idea where to smelt the copper. Because I, I sort of, like, like where I am starting in the world, also there's new ore. This is, uh, it's just copper. Except there's also um, cup from ferrets, except it's, it's over the other ore, which is something van in vanilla that is not seen. So, yeah, what I'm, tr what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to s see where to place the copper smelting, I'm, because I, I wanted to start in, like, sort of eastern North America, in, like, the world, and right now, or at least not right now. Like I, I sort of randomly chose, and this is sort of towards the northern limit. So I sort of want to go south, except there's this water thing that, um, or the Saint Lawrence River. It's not just a water thing. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely. There's a way to cross water, 
it's not too too far out so I'm, I'm gonna be expanding westward at this point so do, doesn't look like there's a much, much good place to actually smelt the copper like I may belt it all the way over here which yeah that's gonna that may take a little while so yeah the uh, yeah, it's going to take a while, which means I'm going to need to craft a ton of belts. So, yeah, I'm crafting, let's see, this is like 130 belts. And, yes, I'm going to need this many belts. Because if I, I'm going to be transferring all the way from here. I may actually use a slightly different system. Maybe I should not craft, like, the last few sets of belts. So instead I can craft a few electric mining drills. It's maybe a better choice at this point. I'm also sort of running out of copper, so I probably should, yeah, should try to build things over at this point. I'm just waiting for the things to handcraft, and that's, again, that's why handcrafting is not preferable. And I also am out of copper here, so, yeah, I'm not, I don't quite need the logistics yet, but it's going to be extremely useful later on. I should probably get rid of the last electric mining drill here so I can save a few copper. Um, just like this. That should be enough. So, yeah, I'll, I'll be smelting the copper next episode and just trying to focus on expanding a little bit, expanding west. And, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.